Welcome back to Gizmo. This is part two of our Xbox One unboxing and setup and first impressions on a game. We are going to test out Rise. I'm going to set it up to my 60 inch 3D TV. I cannot wait to get into 1080p gaming. The controller is right here in my hand. I'm ready to go through that day one update and set it up and show you guys everything in the process and get my very first impressions, which will probably be cool. So now we're at the screen, we're showing us the controller, basically the controls and how you, you know, do things. Everything looks really great in 1080p, so we're going to press the A button, and welcome you to Xbox One. So we live in the United States, we're going to go through all the settings, find our internet. So now we set up, uh, it was really easy, just, I love having this D-pad, it's very clicky. I just can't really get over how comfortable the controller is. I'll say it a hundred times and I'll say it again. The day one update is about 500 megabytes. You can see I'm 5% done. Um, it's downloading rather quickly. Depends on how many people are actually downloading the thing at the moment. But um, I'm one of the few people. There's not a million people doing it right now. So it's going to download pretty quick. But I don't really have patience for this. We're going to hit that magical fast forward button right here. The Xbox One update, and that's how you fast forward through it really quickly. The system is now going through an update, and the Xbox is so quiet. There's a very tiny sound of the fan spinning, and I can really barely hear anything. Let's get closer. So now that the system is updated, we're going to go through and do the basic setup of things. Uh, we're going to do the daylight saving time, set up for the Pacific time zone. Uh, we can set up or connect right now. We're going to do begin sensor setup. Now we have, you can see ourselves right here on the video. You can see the camera right down here below. So I'm standing about four feet away from the Xbox Connect camera, and you can see that it says there's a guest right here. Everything is much clearer. I can move. It actually picks up the TV right in the front down here. You can see the camera is actually really wide angle view here. Uh, it's even picking up all this little stuff laying around. So looking at the camera right now, everything just moves really quick and smooth and it just looks great. So yes, it can see me. We're going to hit OK. Now we're going to check the audio. We're going to make sure it works good with this bar in front of my TV. So now that we set up our sound and our microphone, our sensor is set up for voice and chat. Now if we move our sensor around, you can change your system settings. It doesn't really sound right or work properly. Just go through your settings and the connect and do it again. Blah, blah, blah. Good stuff. It's all good. When you play connect games, remember to take a break if you get tired. Yeah, right. Never going to happen. Next, now we're going to sign with our Microsoft account. Now we're logging in with our Microsoft account. And basically, it's going to just go through a couple of agreements and things about your privacy. We can pick colors. Now, if you guys are familiar with Windows 8.1, you can do a lot of different, uh, you know, color schemes and different things to customize your experience. Uh, for, let's just now, let's go with this bluish color. So we're going to go through and click next, and that's going to basically be your accent color. You can see your gamer pick here, um, it's really small. Uh, obviously, I'm going to change that because it is a new system, and I need a new picture. So we can sign in faster with Connect. You can see right here it's picking out my face. Hello, recognize me. So sign me in with Connect. So if I'm sitting here, I could just log in. And if someone else is in the room, it'll log their face in. So I don't really have to go through the passwords. It's just this facial recognition. Really cool stuff. So finally, we're here at our Xbox dashboard. We're going to go right here, click in, and you can see we have a beautiful... Uh, Windows 8-esque, Xbox 360-esque kind of design. You can control things by doing the bumper, flying left and right. Um, you can see uh, we have some movies, TVs, games, uh, apps, everything that I already had up here synced from my account has been moved over from the marketplace and moves in. So you can see my account here, my friends. This is going to take me to all my friends that are different, you know, playing different games and different stuff like that. You have followers which I have to figure out what that is. Um, everybody's here talking about what they're playing right now, what systems they're on. 
And uh, it looks like nobody's on Xbox One except for me right now, which is pretty exciting. So I would go back here. Now this is basically like where you're going back to. You could go back to your game. You could jump back into what you want to do. Now you could snap apps to your screen. You can see here we have uh, what we're looking at with our friends here. We could watch TV and just put that right up there. I don't have that set up at the moment. We could jump in here and just do Internet Explorer. So we're going to go here right now and just do this little setting. So they call that the view button. Now right here I'm going to hit the Xbox home button. It takes me right to where I was. I don't ever have to actually leave where I am. Um, I can tap it again and go right back to where I was. And uh, browse the internet. Just you know, move around here. Click on different things. Everything works pretty quickly. Scrolling is nice and smooth. Um, can't zoom in or something. You have tabs. That type of thing. Now if you're worried about your achievement points not being carried over to Xbox One, have no fear. They are right here. So you can definitely take them on with you to Xbox One. And you can also share your Xbox Live between consoles. So if I turn my Xbox 360 on and I want to play GTA V, I don't have to worry about buying uh, another you know, Xbox Live account. They all share each other. So I have one and I can use them on both systems. Family members can do the same thing as well. So if you want to download an app, it's going to take you to the store real quick. This is a free app. I'm going to confirm that I want to you know, agree to all the terms. And we'll go through the installation. You can see it right there above. Uh, I'm going to pin it to the home page. You can check out images of the app, all that good stuff. Let's go back here and we'll let that run in the background and see what else they have. Music, movies, TV, apps. You can see Netflix finished it installed. Uh, you can hold the X button for details. Let's check out this new album. So the Hunger Games is an amazing movie. Um, you can listen to it. We'll install that later. Jump through here. Xbox. Go to Netflix. So now we're going to open up Netflix. Stop listening. Stop listening. So now we're going to log in here. You can see me right there. And it's going to take us to the new Netflix experience interface. And uh, we'll see what we can do here. We, so we have The Walking Dead, which I've been watching, which is a great show. Uh, watching Scandal, you can see everything here. The interface is really cool, clean, uh, large images. Uh, people like to browse by image, so this is actually really nice to look at. Um, yeah, so if I want to go back to the home page and just jump into whatever I was doing before, I could do that type of thing. Xbox, Bing, Hunger Games. Hunger Games. So now, right now, it's going to show you everything that Xbox is offering. We have movies here. It's a movie plus a bonus feature. Uh, Catching Fire, which is probably the trailer, uh, has other movies. I just picked up my voice. Stop listening. Now you can watch it on Redbox, which is another app. Uh, free subscription, which is just a preview or something. Uh, the soundtrack, you can go through that, you can watch other, di other different things that have, you know, similar different, I guess, things that have to deal with Hunger Games. Um, yeah, so that's a quick look at that. Xbox, Bing, Disney. Disney. Xbox, Bing. Disney. So right now it's going to look for Disney and see what everything it comes up with. There's a couple of TV shows, original movies, uh, Mickey and the Beanstalk. Um, stop listening. Now it's going to show you movies here now. You don't really know what they're from. If you have to rent them, if you have to buy them, we're going to check out Wreck-It Ralph right now. It's going to show you different places where you could actually you know, watch it. If you have Voodoo, you can watch it there. You could buy it or rent on Xbox Video. Uh, if you wanted to watch Tinkerbell for some bizarre reason, we can watch it on Netflix for free with their subscription, or we could buy it or rent it. Uh, it's a really great way to just, you know, if you want to find a video without having to get onto Netflix, you can just do Bing real quick. 
and search for it. The Nightmare Before Christmas. So let's see, I said we want to watch this movie. There's other related movies from the same director. Go through here, I can show the trailer. Ah, it's on Netflix. So I can just click on Netflix, it'll open it right up. Stop listening. And let's see where it puts us at. So it takes us right to the movie page. Um, you can put it on your list, you get a flip play, boom, you're done right away. Now if you want to go back to your home, you can just hit home and Netflix blows right there in the background where we were. This is very Windows-esque, I really like the design, everything's just clean, minimal, metro style. Um, you can do different settings here, payment information, display and sound, the disc, Blu-ray, preferences, network, all that good stuff. Jump in and check out the preferences. So you can have everything just checked. It's very simple, clean. Now we can turn our Xbox on by saying Xbox on. We're going to test it out right now just by turning it off. And I'm going to say Xbox on. Now you can see the light just popped on. And it's about to go through the settings. Turn the connect on. I have to link it up to my TV to get the everything going together with the, the cable and all that good stuff so I could jump right into wherever I'm at. You can see here it started up really really quickly. The main interface consists of your pins which I already have synced over from my previous Xbox 360 uh, all my TV shows I watch. Uh, you have your home page which is basically all the basic stuff. You could snap uh, things to the screen. You have your TV, game DVR, all that good stuff and then we have the store again here which organizes everything by category of what they are, apps, music, movies and TV, and games. Now you can download games right to your Xbox Live, um, Xbox One account and play them. If you go to your friend's account, just a uh, friend's house, log into their account and you know do that type of thing. So log in and play right there. You don't actually have to take the game with you. Now if I wanted to buy Rise, Son of Rome, I could buy it right here. It's $60. Hopefully they end up doing some type of sales or things. Um, you can see it's 34, basically 35 gigabytes. Um, your Xbox is 500 gigabytes of storage on here. So if you want to think about how many games you could actually put on your system, not too, too many. Um, and you have to install games right onto the system. You can see here, these are some screenshots of the actual game. I cannot wait to get this open and played, so I'm really excited for this. And um, yeah, so we're going to jump in and play Rise. I actually have the disc right here, so I'm going to show you guys what the game is. It should just go right in nice and smoothly. I'm going to take off this ugly sticker. And the system is going to install uh, from the disc. So let's say we want to watch Hunger Games. We're just going to pop this on, hit play. So we have that playing right now, so we can go home. If we want the video still playing, we can check in on in our installation. It's at 0% because it's probably doing that download right now. But um, you can see how things are just pretty smooth and slick. Uh, I could jump back in here just by hitting the Xbox button to get right back to where we were and watch that movie. So let's see. My games and apps. It's going to take us over to what we have, installing, achievements. We have some stuff queued up, which is Killer Instinct, that is waiting, and we don't have any games on here at the moment. So, yeah. So, let's jump back to Netflix and see if it actually takes us back to where we were. Of course it does, amazing. Um, you don't really have to worry about leaving where you were, uh, or starting everything, over, the app over, once you're in that, you know, movie or that mode. So we try the snap feature with the movie right here. So let's see, we have Katniss here. We're going to see how to control this. Let's just hit play. And we're going to hit our Xbox button. And you can see here I move over. I can get to the screen and see what we have here. So let's do uh, Internet Explorer. I'm going to pop it up here. I gotta figure out how to change the size of this window. But you can see here I could browse the web if I want to look something up quickly while Katniss is fighting people. And there you go. We have our snaps. We can unsnap something and go back to our full screen. Rise is at 2%. 
And yeah, so you can see our last used items are down here. Um, settings was what we use, then we use Internet Explorer. So that's a look at the Xbox One interface, setting things up, getting things done. We can see something happen on Rise here. We can hold, hold for details and see what we have here. We have everything ready for launch. We're going to jump into the game. So if you guys want to check out how Rise works, make sure you click on this next video. We have it in three parts. Uh, sorry these videos are really long, but we're really diving into all the different features of the Xbox One. So here we go. If you guys want to check out Rise, click here, watch. Make sure you subscribe. If you guys haven't seen our original unboxing of Xbox One, click back to our part one video and uh, should be pretty good to go. Watch all our videos, subscribe. We would love it if you guys left comments what you think on the Xbox One. Have fun. I'm going to have fun. Enjoy the show. Click watch.